This video is sponsored by Valeton. Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. This video is all about the Valeton GP200 multi-effect and I'm gonna show you how I use it in a real world gig environment. Let's go. <laughs> The Valeton GP200 was launched in early 2022, which makes me late to the party since there are many excellent videos right here on YouTube diving into its sounds and specifications. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on the live use aspect of the GP200. I'm gonna walk you through my presets as well as show you how I have the foot switch function set up for live gigs with my band Rock Stallion. Big thanks to Valeton for sponsoring this video and for sending me this GP200 to play with. If at any point in this video you decide that you want your very own Valeton GP200, then please buy from my affiliate links in the video description, either from Amazon or Thaman. Thank you so much for your extra support. Now before we dive in, here's a few live gig clips from recent Rock Stallion shows where I use this GP200. Enjoy. <laughs> Valeton GP200 is designed primarily for the stage. Aside from the extensive ins and outs, you get eight foot switches that you can set to engage either on the initial tap or on the release. Another cool feature is you can also assign a third function when you quick tap two buttons simultaneously. 
I love that Valentin designed the GP200 so that the top row switches are taller than the bottom row switches. No need for pedal button toppers. In theory, this can cover pretty much any switching situation you'll ever need, but I'll discuss the limitations a little later on in this video. So here's how I have my switches laid out. Buttons one and two are presets up and down on the quick tap and bank up and down on the hold. Button three gives me quick access to my main tone. So quick tap goes to preset A, which is my main dirty tone. And then holding it down will give me my main clean sound. And the bottom row switches toggles individual stomp boxes on and off. Now let's dive into my presets with some picture in picture action. Now all my presets have the following in common. They all use the onboard cabs mainly to show off the stock sounds. However, you are able to load in your own IRs should you want to. Since the expression pedal can control up to three parameters, I have it assigned to the volume pedal as well as the amp drive and amp gain. This allows me to ride the gain and get different shades of overdrive within the same preset. <laughs> Always on stomps are the noise reduction, which is positioned between the amp and cab for no particular reason, as well as the hall reverb. Preset A is my main live tone, and it's centered around the solo LD amp and cab. <laughs> Control 1 is an Ottawa, which I've been digging lately since I can sync the wah rate to tap tempo. I actually prefer this over the GP200's wah effects block controlled by the expression pedal. Control 2 is the green OD overdrive to tighten things up. Control 3 is a 5 band EQ pedal set as a post amp level boost for solos. And Control 4 toggles the vintage rack delay. Now preset B is pretty much the same patch, except that this time I'm using the 900 amp and UK greenback cab. This is my Marshall patch and it cleans up quite nicely to get the classic rock grinds. And at full gain, I get hot rotted tones. <laughs> As a quick aside, I also like that the GP200 has knobs assigned for quick parameter access. I actually took advantage of this during this psychedelic breakdown improv where I reached down and tweaked the delay mix. It's not that much different from tweaking the knobs on actual stomp boxes. Preset C is pretty much the same as preset B, but this time instead of an Ottawa, I have the G chorus pedal for some modulation. <laughs>
preset D is my clean patch using the Match CL Amp and Cab. <laughs> Control one, toggle sound, the chorus, and a compressor for those 80s clean sounds. Control two is a blues master overdrive for some bluesy leads. Control 3 is the same EQ solo boost and Control 4 is the same vintage rack delay. I also have an acoustic preset and it uses the AC Pre preamp and the GA Grand Auditorium IR. What sells this preset is the Saturate Stomp Box, which is basically a tape saturation plugin. This adds compression and mid-range complexity that you can mix into the clean signal and bring back some of the lost mid-range that acoustic simulators scoop out. This is the first time I've seen this in a multi-effects unit and it's very cool that the Valeton GP200 has it. The last preset is basically preset C, but with a vibe pedal instead of a chorus. I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can download and enjoy my presets. Despite being thought of as a beginner slash intermediate effects processor, the Valeton GP200 actually packs a lot of punch in the tone and ease of use departments. So to answer the question, can you gig the Valeton GP200? The answer is definitely yes. Though as a working musician, I do have a wish list that hopefully Valeton can address in future firmware updates. If you bypass the amp and cab models, you can use the GP200 as a standalone effects processor with a real guitar amp. It can even be wired up for cable methods so you can position specific effects either before or after the guitar amp's preamp. For this function, I wish the GP200 had an external switching function that can switch channels on the real guitar amp. For me personally, I'll never use a second expression pedal, so assigning that functionality to the EXP2 slash full switch jack via software could be great. I already mentioned the extensive functions that can be assigned to the eight foot switches, but unfortunately, these functions are limited by the options currently available. We only get four control options for stomp box assignments and only four patches A, B, C, D within the bank. The rest of the foot switch options involve the drum machine and the looper, which are great for home practice and perhaps the solo loop performer, but usually not usable in typical live gig situations. The GP200 functionality would open up immensely if it had at least seven control functions. That way you can control up to seven effects in stomp box mode. Me personally, I need at least five control options for live gigs. And instead of being limited to patches within the bank, ideally patches A, B, C, D can be assigned to any patch regardless which bank it's in. And while we're at it, add patches E, F, G, and H and a setlist function that can host up to eight patches. And lastly, add another foot switch function that can toggle between patch and stomp box modes. If the GP200 were to be updated with these functions, then my foot switch layout would be something like this. I'll keep tap tempo, tuner, looper, preset and bank buttons up and down as is, and then foot switch three will toggle between patch and stomp mode on the quick tap. In stomp box mode, I'll assign modulation to control one, dirt to control two, EQ solo boost to control three, delay on control four, and the auto wad to control five, which will be a two button quick tap. 
In patch mode, A, B, C, D will be as is, and then E, F, G, and H will be two button quick taps. The Valentin GP200 is already pretty cool in its current state, but my wish list will put it over the top. Again, I'm not sure if it's possible, but it'll be a lot cooler if it is. Well, there you have it. That's the Valentin GP200 multi effects as used in live gig scenarios. Big thanks to Valentin for sponsoring this video and for giving me free reign in presenting the GP200 to all you guys. And if you decide to buy your own GP200, then please use my affiliate links in the video description. Thank you so much for your extra support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think of the Valentin GP200 in the comment section. Now click on an end card to go watch another video, or you can go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers guys.